I'm gonna head into the town now. It's built like in a gully, which is kind of amazing. Uh, I don't know if you can see that in the middle of frame, that white church, that's the church I was talking about. I'm going to talk about it here in a minute, but I'm going to, uh, well, I'm just going to stop here for a second and let you look. Uh, you can see the road goes down and then back up again. Uh, here is a picture of what the town looked like before it was cleared out and condemned. And uh, something, huh? And this is what it looks like now. Now you can see that church up there looked out over the whole town. And that's, it's, like I said, that's its own story. But what I'm going to do here is pull down one of these streets. Most of the streets that lined the town that had houses and, of course, some businesses are still here. But, uh, of course, there are no houses on them. So I'm going to pull in right here and get the drone up in the air. All right, everybody, I've got the drone ready to fly. You can see it right here. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna lift off and uh, we're gonna see the town from the air. So are you ready? Let's do it. Up we go. Now, um, this is the main drag through town. Uh, it was full of businesses and homes at one time and uh, right there in the middle frame now wait for these motorcycles to go by <laughs> okay right there in the middle of the frame is the church it's called the uh, assumption of the blessed virgin mary and it's got its own fascinating story now, uh, right here to the right, now in the middle, is a municipal center. I was surprised to see that. Um, it's still standing. It looks like there's a ambulance or fire engine inside it. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to fly over to this um, church, get a little bit closer look at it. And I'm going to drive over there shortly, and I'll tell you all about it then. Let me get up into the uh, sky a little higher. Yeah, you can see this church just looks out over the town. It's pretty amazing. And there's a cemetery by it as well. Anyway, like I said, uh, my notes say there were five structures left in town, counting that church, but I was counting six. Uh, I found four houses. Let's get up a little higher be able to see them from the air here in a second yeah there's one right there I'm gonna drive by that it's a pretty interesting house and uh, and then there's another one right there you can see to the right a little bit and um, there's a couple more houses over here yeah you can kinda see them now um, right below me there you can see maybe that was a city park or something pretty fascinating but anyway um, go up a little higher you can see the town you can see the roads of the town they're still here but of course the businesses and the homes they're all gone swing around here see the other side yeah so you just got these roads that kind of go nowhere that's why you, these guys on motorcycles come out here a lot because uh, you know it's, it's fun to ride on them but anyway okay so I'm going to bring the drone back and um, yeah it's amazing isn't it I'm gonna bring the drone back let me go down a little and uh, I'm going to drive over to that church first and I'll tell you about it uh, when we get there. All right, I'm pulling back out on the main street. Um, now that you've seen it from the air, 
I'm sure you've got a pretty good idea how everything's laid out. So you can see the church up there. I'm going to go there in a second. I'm going to turn here and uh, check out this house over here. One of the uh, few remaining houses. It looks, um, it's a pretty cool looking house, I gotta say. Let's go up here and check it out. Yeah, this is one of the last remaining residents. The official census is um, four people here, but uh, after driving by all these houses, to me it looks like there's more than that. Uh, maybe they have their children or, you know, friends and, I don't know, whatever, still living with them. But it looks like more than four people live here because the four houses that are still standing, they all have cars in front of them and clearly people live in them. That's kind of a cool looking house though, isn't it? Let me get you a better look at it here. Four wheelers keep out, it said on a sign. I'm sure that's a real issue. Really interesting looking home though, isn't it? Ah. So I'm gonna head up to uh, this church now. All right, I'm turning into the uh, little road that the church is at. You see quite a few people here. I have read that um, this is a pretty good, or a pretty big, look at those motorcycles, yeah. <laughs> a lot of that going on. Anyway, I'd read that this uh, was a pretty big tourist destination here in Pennsylvania, which doesn't surprise me at all. But okay, uh, um, anyway, I'm gonna head up here. This church is right up here. I've already been up here once. Um, as you saw from the video, it looks out over th uh, the, the entire town. And um, the reason this church is still standing, here it is right here, is that it wasn't built on top of mines. It's uh, on top of a huge rock. So this church is safe from, uh, from the mine fire. And that's why it has been allowed to stay here. This church is still operating. And um, yeah, people come here still every Sunday. But this is what's interesting about this church. Uh, it is, like I said, built atop a rock. And so it looks out over a town that underground is on fire. And uh, can you get any more biblical than that? And what else is that great for? <laughs> uh, yeah, you guessed it, a movie. I don't know if you've ever seen the horror movie, Silent Hill. I have, and uh, I, I love that movie. It's one of my favorite horror movies. But that movie is based on this town, and uh, a church plays a central role in the story, and it was modeled after this church. In fact, if you look at the church in the movie, and I'm gonna show you a picture right now, you can see the uncanny resemblance. Uh, the church in the movie was clearly inspired by this one. So, that is just amazing to me. You've got this entire town condemned to hell, if you will, because of the hell fires burning below, but the church is safe. And the church looks out over the sea of fire, which is underground, but still. You get the idea. That's just so amazing to me. All right. I'm going to show you a couple other things here in town now. All right, I'm exiting the road uh, that that church is on. And um, yeah, this is the main street. Again, there's that municipal building. It's still standing. Take a look at a few things here. Uh, this looked like it was a major kind of downtown area because it looks like there was a lane going this way and a lane on the other side there coming out. It's all gone now, everything that was here. 
but it is interesting to see and try to imagine what this must have looked like. Uh, I would guess that, you know, maybe City Hall and some of the other city government buildings were right here. I'm just guessing. I don't know, <laughs> but it just would make sense. Um, let's see. Uh, let me turn around here. Yeah, up ahead, that's where a couple houses are. Yeah, I just came down this, this road here. I want to go down this way. Um, this road I'm coming upon is one of the major roads that goes through the town, uh, in and out of the town. But I'll just drive up here. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> see that? Uh, you think that's put out any fires? Anyway, that fire hydrant. I'm gonna pull up here. Now see, this looks like someone's house. I'm guessing. That yellow over there. And uh, there's another, what looks like a house here. It's got one car in front of it. Again, it's really narrow like that last house. All right, so I'm gonna come up here. Take a quick look. Now, I was over here earlier. It looks like uh, people have started painting graffiti on this road now since they closed off Graffiti Highway. Huh. Yeah, you can see all the graffiti on the road. A lot of trash here. Somebody left a mattress. Yeah, let me point down so you can see this. Quite a bit of graffiti on this road now. So, uh, yeah, the stop sign up ahead. Now that is the main road again. What kind of left there? Because that looked like what was, uh, what could have been a city park that I just drove by. So I'm gonna wait for these cars and then go over there. Can you see the church up there? A little white spot. Ah, uh, yeah, in the drone shot earlier, he saw this. What looks like, uh, I'm not sure what that was, a tile maybe? And, um, Yeah, I can go through here. I don't know if I can fit under this tree though. Let me see. Uh, my little Bronco can fit in some tight spaces. She's really good for that. Anyway, I think um, there was a park up here. I don't know if I said it earlier, but most of the fires have uh, burrowed pretty deep into the ground now. So you used to could see steam and smoke coming out of the ground, but you don't really see it anymore. Uh, which kind of sucks. That would have been cool. Anyway, yeah, so uh, I'm thinking that was a park, maybe. This is the main intersection. So there's that house uh, we saw earlier. All right, I went ahead and got the drone up in the air one more time from the other side of town. Just want to take another quick look from the air. It's uh, surreal, isn't it? Anyway, uh, a little bit more info about uh, Centralia. The town sits atop one of the largest deposits of anthracite coal in the United States. And uh, it's so big, it's called the Mammoth Vein. And because it's so big, experts say that this fire that is burning below what used to be a town will last another 500 years. 500 years. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, one more stop in the video. I'm going to drive to what was once Graffiti Road and uh, take a look at it. I'm at what's left of Graffiti Highway. Uh, like I said, um, 
this road's, road was closed because it started buckling and smoking and so people came from far and wide and they painted graffiti on it and uh, here's a picture of it what it used to look like but you're looking at it now and it looks completely different uh, the people who own this property didn't want uh, people coming onto the road and painting anymore so they covered it with all these dirt mounds so that is all that is left of graffiti highway all right i'm going to end the video here uh ever since i've seen the movie silent hill and i found out it was based on a real uh, real town in pennsylvania i have wanted to come here uh, so it was a thrill for me this is one of the most exciting places for me that i've been to on this trip um but anyway yeah this is the end of the video and uh a lot of traffic up here um, we're not sure where we're going next we are going to head west make our way back to Dallas because we've got to do our monthly stuff but anyway there will be a video up within two days so <laughs> be looking for that see you then mm -hmm.